guys is this for the defensive confidence do you think at all? I mean, it's, it's great. You know, like I said earlier, I mean, we've done some good things during the season, and obviously we've done some things not as well, you know, but to be a part of, um, you know, helping us get the victory today, you know, was tremendous to go out and, you know, have a chance to close that thing out. You know, it's great for the Tim Kennards and, the, you know, JVs of the world, you know, who work so hard, you know, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and it'll be something that they'll be able to remember that they were part of the team that, um, you know, got a chance to get us off the schneid, if you will, and, and hopefully um, point the program back in the right direction. What's it like for Angelo to kind of come up with that pick? Especially after he, had, after, after he had that punt return where he muffed it right there to kind of come back and, and yeah, make it play. I, I think it was great for him, you know, because again, you know, he, he made a mistake, but at the end of the day, you know, the thing that I'm more proud of, he didn't hang his hat. You know, he freaking got right back out there and went and played defense, you know, and helped us get a stop. So for him to get an interception at the end, freaking huge. You know, it's great for him, a great confidence build. Because in the game of football, things negative are going to happen. To me, it's how you handle it. You know, it's the mental gymnastics that you got to be able to manage to be a good team and obviously a good defense. Who had the quarterback pressure on that? I think it was Kennard. Yeah, it, it, I'll be honest, I, I didn't see it. It was all a blur at that point. You know, a lot of guys kind of, you know, trying to get them. But, you know, the kids wanted to, wanted to get after it, you know, and um, they said, hey, coach, let's do what we do. And I said, I'm with you. Let's go get them. You know, and those guys went out and executed and put a lot of pressure on them and forced the bad throw. What, what, so what happened at halftime? Because second half you were really uh, – a much more effective start to finish defense. Yeah, uh, we made a couple of adjustments just based on what they were doing. You know, they had some good, had a good plan. You know, they did a lot of window dressing, changed up a lot of their formations, ran some of the same plays, but it was new for our kids. But once we showed it to them, you know, we were able to go out and execute and, you know, have, have some success.